Unboxing! Yeah. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shard Miss Prime here doing another big bad toy store unboxing video. Today we have this big old box from BBTS with the bellow attached to it right over here from being in the dark room. Uh, big things, big bad toy store. This is a very special unboxing video because I busted my thumbs. Yeah. Also, I got some shameless plugging to do. So I gotta tell you about my thumbs in a moment. But uh, first off, the Rust Toy Reviews channel is back. Yeah. Uh, I have a second channel where I kind of put on a face. The Shardimus Prime channel isn't the face. The face is on Rust Toy Reviews. I try to mellow things down. And it's a different flavor of action figure review that uh quite a few people have enjoyed it's been a long time since i've posted over there so go ahead check out Russ toy reviews uh also i wanted to mention i will have another whatnot live stream i will be selling my extra stuff on whatnot these auctions start at a dollar unfortunately whatnot is not doing the giveaways anymore but I will still do some giveaways. So I'll have a couple of figures that I will be giving away over on that Whatnot live stream. We're looking at next Thursday, 6 p.m. And I'm looking forward to that. Uh, if you're wondering why I don't do giveaways on Patreon or membership, it's because it's considered to be illegal. I, I know that for at least the Patreon uh, it is. And big thanks to those of you who support over there. It really does help a lot. And we do have perks over there as well. Um, like I just posted a little bit of a behind the scenes video yesterday and uh, I do some sneak peeks where I post up images of the figures I'm reviewing. Occasionally we have uh, some early access content over there and then you get access to the after parties. We well, you know why they know old motherfuckers, which are a lot of fun as well. If it's not your thing, eh, don't worry about it. Nothing else changes on the channel. Everything else is the same. Uh, but if you're interested in supporting and you're in a position to do so and you'd like to, we'll go ahead and I recommend checking it out. And you can see we got this nice big bad BBTS battle sticker right over there. And these figures have been out for a minute now and I've been dying to get my hands on them. Oh my goodness. This looks awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh, the Wolverine looks really good too. And I love having these windows back. Oh, look at that. I wish I had Wolverine's healing factor to help with my thumbs. Oh, oh, oh my busted thumbs. This looks so cool. If you saw the uh, Hella Sick Figs with Century Productions, I was trying to play off that. I had the figure already with this one. I mean, I can already see the size difference is substantial. I'll do a review of this two pack. And please let me know what you want to see reviewed the most out of everything that I'm unboxing over here, but yeah, I feel like I'm playing catch up with these two packs over here. Uh, we have the next Wolverine and Psylocke two pack. This looks awesome. Damn, the photo real tech. I keep calling it photo real tech, and it's technically not photo real tech, but that's what it reminds me of, and I really like it a lot. By the way, Hasbro, what the hell, man? They're shipping the Hank and Wasp two pack figure set already. It's on its way. Holy crap, and my Joe Fix-It and Patch 2-pack is on its way from Hasbro Pulse also. But, dude, that pre-order went up, and then now the figures are already being delivered, so they're going to get here before the HasLab. That's so cool. I'm, I'm happy with that. I have a feeling they're addressing the issue of too many figures coming out at once. That's what I think is going on here. I'm just speculating, but I have a feeling that they're trying to space them out. I hope they're doing that because holy shit, I hate it when they have all the figures just drop at one time like this. Then we have the Brood, Wolverine, and Lalandra right here. Oh, those lines are all sculpted on there. Hey, brand new Tetas too, man. They look pretty good, you know? Not too small or anything like that, which I thought was so funny when I heard people complain about the She-Hulk because I did not have that thought at all. I was like, oh, they look... They, they, look fine to me i complained about the knuckles <laughs> that was my complaint with the she hulk this looks great nice all right now the brood wolverine cool to have don't really need any of these actually because i've got plenty of wolverines but i love wolverine and i am on a x-men kick right now like like crazy so 
Okay, now getting into some G.I. Joe Classified, we got the Iron uh, Grenadiers Cobra Metalhead over here, and this looks sick. It's got the teardrop over here. Again, I don't know my Joe too well, but holy crap, I love this toy line. I've mentioned it so many times, I've been wanting this toy line forever, and they are just absolutely crushing it. I'm still reading my G.I. Joe comics, though. I am getting myself more familiar with the books. Holy crap. Okay, let's get all the G.I. Joes out of here. Oh, this Scarlet looks perfect. Oh, this Scarlet looks so good. Yes. Oh, man, this is the Scarlet we should have gotten the first time. Hell yeah. I wish she had a helmet, though. Does she have a helmet? She needs a helmet. In the comics, she'll wear a helmet. I wish she had a helmet. But I guess it's more like cartoon version. Damn, the artwork looks really good over here, too. Well, some of the coloring lines could be smoother, but still, I, I, I think this looks awesome. Great-looking Scarlet figure. I was thinking about getting Rakondo, but I did not get Rakondo. Duke looks awesome. Reminds me of Comic Duke. I feel like this is what they should have done the first time. Like, that first wave, but, you know, they've been adjusting. That It's like they heard the feedback right away with that wave one. And they started making changes to him. I might get Rakondo if I see him out in the wild. Uh, I try not to double up too much on figures that I already... Uh, what did I do? God uh, damn it. Look, I love this figure so damn much I had to get to. I love this Wolverine figure. To me, right now, it is the best Wolverine figure. Uh, definitely the best Marvel Legends Wolverine figure in my collection. He's right next to the Mezco, uh, Tiger Stripe, Sentinel Deluxe one, and the Mafex Brown suit. Those are my top three Wolverine figures in my collection at the moment. I don't know anything about this guy, but here we have Cobra Big Boa. And he looks badass. This is his tooth right there. Oh, my daughter's losing her teeth right now. It's the cutest thing ever. But yeah, this guy looks sick. Dude, so many cool figures. Oh, man. I love the color scheme. This purple and black looks dope on the Techno Viper. I only got one of these. I don't know if people are army building this or not. I am not going to army build, but damn, this guy looks sick. I have three Transformers in here. We have Gears. This looks great. I already have a Gears, but man, I love Gears. Why not? And yeah, we have a new Gears right here. It's got a very GoBots kind of head sculpt right there. I don't know, there's something about him. I have a weird uh, love for GoBots, which is really bizarre. It's it's just because my abuelita, which means, you know, my grandmother in Spanish, uh, my abuelita used to take us to, like, to the stores, and she would buy us just the cheap, whatever was cheapest. <laughs> in true abuelita fashion. And she would laugh at my mom for buying me Transformers. She's like, look, he's just as happy with the GoBots as he is with the Transformers. I was happy to get anything, man. Not that we grew up, you know, in a rough life or anything, but still, my parents taught us, you know, you got to do, you know, some chores or whatever if you want some toys. So just getting gifted toys like that, it, you know, is a big deal to this day. Still a big deal, man. Look at that. I can't believe they shipped out Sunstreaker so fast. They just revealed this over at WonderCon, and then boom, now I have it in my hand. I'll have Shockwave on the way very soon as well. And then, oh yeah, Silverbolt. The most emo of all Transformers. <laughs> the emoist of the emo Transformers characters. I love my Beast Wars. I had to get this guy. Oh man, he looks great. <laughs> Silverbolt. And then we got the remaining figures, except for Tombstone, which is on its way from Hasbro Pulse. Wow, okay, Hollow's Eve over here. I just had to give myself a second to look at these masks. She looks cool. Can't see those masks too well. Can't see anything too well. My lens is a little bit blurry because I keep a sticker on it and I try to clean it, but sometimes I don't clean it so well. My bad. Uh, and then we have the two other Spider-Man. So Spider Shot and last stand spider-man um is this the ezekiel spider-man nope caught outside of time peter parker sees a potential future in which okay i thought this was an ezekiel i thought one of these was an ezekiel or a uh ben parker spider-man but neither are that i thought this was supposed to be ezekiel or something but no so here we go last stand spider-man 
And then we also have Spider Shot, which I'm not really too familiar with either of these Spider-Men. I have been reading a little bit more of the newer books, though. I really love Dan Slott's writing, and I'm currently reading uh, the Fantastic Four story that has Spider-Man and Wolverine in it. So I've read the first two issues of that storyline. So far, Valeria and Franklin just used image inducers to look like Hulk and Ghost Rider. So, so far, it's just been like the old new Fantastic Four instead of the new new Fantastic Four, but... <laughs> it made me happy to see i was like oh okay cool they're back <laughs> oh okay image inducers but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video my thumbs dude i had one of the most painful experiences of my life i was taking the shower the other day and this and i i can't believe i did that. i was just trying to squeeze the last bit of face wash out of the out of the little bottle kind of like a toothpaste with a big round plastic thing at the top so i'm trying to like squeeze out the last little bit of the face wash and my thumbs slipped and the plastic top scraped off the top of my skin between my thumbnail and the knuckle right here shaved off the skin right over there and just hella blood and hella painful i was in the middle of washing myself so i had soap everywhere and had to rinse off and you could feel every tiny little drop of water in those little opened gashes Dude, it's gnarly. So, uh, yeah, expect a lot of uh, bandaged thumb reviews in the future because I hurt the hell out of my thumbs. And go ahead, make all the jokes you want, you know, because, yeah, uh, one of my students, original gangsta, he was like, so now you're going to just play drums like this from now on? <laughs> Surely the one says, like, so now when we do it, is it going to be, you're just going to be like that the whole time? I'm like, all right, shut up everybody i'll be fine but go ahead and uh go ahead tear into some thumb jokes because while you can because th they hurt like hell it's tricky playing drums like this and it's just tricky doing anything when you have torn up thumbs because you use your thumbs a lot every time i wash my hands it hurts like hell but anyway it'll get better <laughs> such a stupid thing i'm gonna go buy some face wash new face wash anyway <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button. Appreciate all your guys' support in any way you support this content. This content, and I will catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, let me show you some Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't. Shot, we 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 shot,